Zimbabwe is one of the poorest nations on earth. A young country, 40% of the population is under the age of 14, and sadly, one out of every four children doesn't go to school. For the kids that do, learning isn't easy. In 2010, representatives from Here Africa Foundation traveled to Gandidzanwa Primary School in eastern Zimbabwe. This is what we found. These kids we teach at this school, if you can see their uniforms, they are torn, they don't have shoes. Yes. In the cold weather, they come barefooted, just like we are poor. We have a poor community. We have no proper classrooms, no standard classrooms. We have, since we have no classroom, that means we have no furniture at all. The children need furniture when they are writing. The children, when they write, they sit on the floor, writing on lips. Some students were being taught under trees outside due to the lack of classroom space. The school at Gandizama has been very creative with the use of the buildings that were there before. One of them is an old garage that's been divided into four classrooms. And actually two of the classrooms are just separated by a low wall. So the area above is open and so the noise can travel between the two, two classrooms the whole time. The school had a student body of over 500, many of whom were dealing with deep psychological scars. Most of the children have lost either one or both the parents through death. They are orphans. By November 2012, the situation at Ganadzanwa had changed dramatically. Here Africa Foundation facilitated the building of several new structures, a library and two classroom blocks. Prior to Here Africa's intervention, yeah, there was rampant absenteeism because you know, no one was prepared to come and lie on the floor. They would rather do it that way and to maybe stay at home or transfer. But as of last term, the children are eager to be here. The attendance is not disappointing at all, like it was before. I have seen the change in pass rate. I have seen the change in smartness of the kids. I have seen the change in health of the kids because we now have running water because of Here Africa. Here Africa board members attended the grand opening of the new structures in November with high profile government dignitaries in attendance and plenty of offers to widen our efforts to other parts of the country. None of this would have been possible without you. Together, we're changing lives.